Hey everybody, it's Brandy from joyrebel.com and we are on to our second in the uh, free warrior series. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for um, playing along with me and I hope you're getting uh, a lot of good out of this series. We've got a lot more good to share. So uh, get out your yoga mat or uh, get to a comfortable place on the floor and let's get started. So I'm going to take you through the second in the Warrior series, which is Warrior 2, and we are going to um, start in Warrior 1. So we're going to pick up where we left off uh, and then move into Warrior 2 from there. What you want to do is go ahead and get comfortable. Stand comfortably in your mat, on your mat, all four corners of your feet firmly on the mat. Breathe in, lift your shoulders up, back and down, chest lifted. And then we're going to step back into warrior one. So if you remember, I'm going to use my left foot. I'm going to step back about three feet, rotating my back foot open, 90 degree, or actually it's about 45 degree bend in the uh, front knee. Hips are rotated towards the front of the room, arms lifted up. So you may remember, this may look familiar from the last time, Warrior 1. Now to go into Warrior 2, we're simply going to rotate our arms open and sink back into that front knee. Now, you'll, if you might notice that I had to adjust my back foot a little bit. Um, most people do. Most people do because the stance is a little bit different from Warrior 1 to Warrior 2. So in this case, um, I think most people, when they rotate out for Warrior 1, their foot is not completely perpendicular, their back foot is not completely perpendicular to their front foot. It's, a, it's a, moved a little bit forward. So in this case, we can have it completely perpendicular to our front foot. And the alignment that we're going for, if you'll take a look at your feet, is front heel to uh, the middle or the arch of the back foot or the heel of the back foot, depending on what is comfortable for your body. Okay, so again, our feet are about three feet apart, maybe more if your legs are longer, maybe less. We've still got that nice bend in our front leg. Our knee is not out over our ankle. It's directly above the ankle. Back leg is firm and straight. We can still feel all four corners of our feet on the mat. Inhale your arms up to shoulder height. And one thing to check here is make sure your shoulders aren't up here. Make sure you're not wearing them as earrings. So take a minute, bring your shoulders back down, nice long arms, and then look out over your front hand, taking notice of that middle finger. To get out of this pose, we can rotate onto our back feet, bend the back leg a little bit, and pop up. Then we can do the other side. Again, we're going to start in warrior one. Excuse me as I wobble a little bit. Again, wobbling is normal. Inhale, our arms up. Windmill them open. Settle in to warrior two. Come out of this pose. We can rotate on the back toes. Bend the knee a little bit. Pop up. And namaste. Now, Here's what I like about that pose and about this series. Um, if you remember, we started with Warrior One and we really talked about how grounding it is, about how it really is a base and foundation for moving into the other poses. In this case, I think you'll notice that you still feel very firm in your foundation, but your upper body is in a much more action stance now. And what I like to think of this as, um, once we get firm in our foundation, we can see clearly, um, or at least more clearly, what our goals and intentions are, um, maybe a few steps of the path before us, and we also, we can action that, we can move forward now. And not only can we do that, if we have obstacles, which look, everybody's going to, just because you have a dream or a goal or an intention, doesn't mean automatically everything's gonna be pretty. I mean, I, I know I maybe not believe that, but certainly wanted that when I started um, focusing on goals and dreams. You know, it'd be really nice if it was a fairy tale ending and, oh, I want to do this and everything's magical. Well, my experience has been it's, it's not that way. So 
sorry, you can hear my dog scratching to get in. Um, so we get clear, we get firm in our foundation, we're ready to take action, we're taking a few steps, and we've got that arm ahead of us to, to just scratch through and get rid of obstacles in our way. So that is really, this is really what this pose represents to me is action. And that will take us into our next um, series next time is once we get clear in our foundation, take action, move forward, and then we can fly. So I hope you will join me um, next time for Warrior 3 where we learn how to lift off and fly. So thank you so much for playing along uh, again with me. I hope you were enjoying it. Um, and... Namaste.